Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. This is Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. Last time when we left off the game, we had just thought that we completed the pilgrimage to of the Seven Graces, or the pilgrimages of the Seven Graces, that is. We went back to the temple, just to be told that we didn't finish it yet. We actually forgot one. So I went back to Gnesis using the Silstrider services, finished that pilgrimage, and now we're out of money to travel back. And honestly, I don't want to walk back on my own. This means we need to raise some money. Also, our dagger is broken, so we need to fix that one too. And while we were selling Fargoth's ring, remember from the beginning, from the very first or f second episode, um, which was p worthless, but we sold it to a pawnbroker. And this pawnbroker, Dane's Red Othril, has some little work for us, as it seems. Go ahead, look around. You see something you want, let me know. I can also tell you about my trade. And if you're interested, I might have a little work for you. Well, you know, your trade is very well known to me. You buy my stuff and then sell it back to me at double the price. But I'm going to take up your offer of work. I'm looking for a fellow named Iena Sarandas. I told him I sold him two fine matched rings, one with a raw ebony stone, the other with a raw glass stone. But he has failed to pay me the remaining 150 drakes owed. If you find Sarandas and either get the ebony ring and the glass ring and return them to me, or get the overdue payment of 150 drakes he owes me, I will pull you 50 gold. Well, it is next to nothing, but let's see if we can find that person. Maybe we can ask him if he knows where he is. No. Maybe they have a little hut here in Aldrun. So let's check. So one thing we can do is check, switch to the local map and go over here. Until we, there he is, Iena Saranda. So down the stairs to the right, the first house. There we go. To the right, the first house. And I'm going to save. I guess this is going to end up in a fight. Because we need to persuade him to hand over the stuff. So I'm actually going to head over. And have my weapon repaired. Because while I do have magic, I don't have many uses. And repairing costs only one gold. Honestly, 50 gold, that's like... That's like ripping me off. On the other hand, he is a pawnbroker after all. So that's his job, ripping people off. Okay. Hello, good sir. Yes, I am here about the overdue payments. Yes, I do have some overdue payments with local merchants, but I'm afraid I can't pay my debts right now. You see, I'm a little strapped for cash at the moment, but I've certain, I have certain very attractive prospects underway, and I'm sure I'll be able to pay very soon. Well, how about we take the merchant's goods by violence, then? You clearly do not appreciate the finer points of honor, Outlander. No self-respecting Dunmer would allow himself to be influenced by crude threats, I told you. I have not the cash now, but I expect to have it soon. These are the words of a gentleman, and I will not have my honor questioned by a rude outlander. So he is not attacking me automatically, which means I can't attack him without it being murder. On the other hand... I could actually try, it could be, because in this game you're only, you only did, um, uh, how is it called, well, basically when you're when you um, breaking the law and nobody notices you doing it, then it's not breaking the law because nobody knows. So if I kill him, it might be, this is why I'm dropping a quick save, if I kill him, it might be that it's not counting as breaking the law be as such, because um, there is no witness 
anymore because the only witness of him is dead. So this is usually not how I play these games, but honestly, let's spice it up and have this guy be a little more violent than the guys that I usually play when when it comes to story and lore. This is what your mom said to you. There we go, we have ooh, the designer shoes, which actually give us a light effect, which I want to wear. Silk pants, glass ring. Let's, you know, let's get all of these because they are very expensive. He is a gentleman after all. Before I remove this, I will remind you that this is a game played in an um, in an adult setting. So yes, when I remove this, this guy will be completely naked. So yeah, just just a heads up. If you don't want to see this, just skip ahead a few seconds because I will turn away quickly. On the other hand, if you don't want to see this in the future, maybe this stream and game is not for you. There we go. Yeah, he can he can heal his saber, at least that. And since I'm already here, you know what? I'm going to. I'm not, not playing a thief or something, but I'm going to rub and blind now. Honestly, that's. Since I already started, I could also. Okay, worthless junk. But books, I love books. Why do I love books? Because I want to have a bookshelf full of books at some point in time. And I might actually do a reading session at some point in time. Reading the books of Morrowind. Worthless junk. Ingredients, which I'm going to sell. Yeah, I said in one of the first episodes, I'm not a robber, I'm not a thief, and uh, here I am, like, robbing all the valuables from his house, or at least. Well, I'm hungry, you know, I'm a hungry kitty, so... He did safe. So we'll see if we're being attacked by the guards. Well, the guard walks just past us. He doesn't speak to us, so now to give back the ring and sell the hot wares. Honestly, he got it coming for him. About that work that you have for me, here's the ring. I see you, you have um, I see you have the ebony ring and the glass ring from Iena Sarandas, and I hear Iena Sarandas was found dead in his home. I don't suppose you had anything to do with that. Oh, how do you, how do you, why do you think that? I'm not a murderer. Here's the 50 drakes I promised you, and I'll take the goods, but don't expect me to thank you for them. No debt is worth, worth a man's life. Of course, there were no witnesses, but everyone knows you killed that poor fool. Don't think anyone here will forgive you for that. Well, I don't care if they forgive me. They will soon. <laughs> Of course, this means that bartering with him is harder, but you know what? These very expensive pants that I just sold him and this fire jade amulet, you know, this makes for enough gold, so I don't care if the exchange rate things to gold is bad. It's 460 gold, he has 474. I'm just going to take this offer because he likes me so low that he won't give me a, a little bit more. <laughs> and it might be that this, um, that this affected all of the um, people here. Let's see if I, if I talk to her, if that also reflects. Oh, no, but she has a little advice for me. Well some standard text selected from the random text. So no, basically it only affected him. 
the people here. Uh huh. Only him. Luckily for me. Okay, let's head back. Using the major skilled services, let's head back to Balmora and hand in that temple quest. And then we should think about making some money. Well, we did make some money, but we want to buy... See, this is... Traveling via Major Skilled is less Can expensive. Can you ask a question quickly? I must be going. Is one of these beds not owned? Rank associate. I can use the beds. Perfect. I want to lay down and sleep for a while. I mean, that's kitty. Yes, that's what you, kitties do in the end, do right? Outland. Okay. So let's head to the temple in the middle of the night. I will listen, Outlander. I'll Guards stand in the way. It's their job blocking the roads. So I need to head around them. Go the long route. Up here. Oh, what's what? What's that? What fell out here? Kwama eggs. Very interesting. And then let's head back down here. So we can actually get to the temple. Here we go. No, I'm curious. I've never passed. I've never went past the, this pilgrimage, so I don't know what will what more quests the temple will have for us. Pretty curious. Okay. Feldrello, I finished the pilgrimage. Of the seven graces. Yes, you have finished the pilgrimages of the seven graces. I commend you for this. You are now ready for more challenging duties. What about these challenging duties? I do not have any duties for you. Perhaps you should speak with Endrin Lithan in Aldrun or Thera Rothcloth in Mulagmar. Oh. Yes, Outlander. Actually, good idea. Because back in Aldrun we have a quest for the Mages Guild. You know, going to Margan. So I'm going to Mage Guild teleport to Albrun and check out where Margan is. Should be on the signposts, right? Or I could ask someone, if I can ask someone that is. Yes, Khajiit? What do you want? So let's get to our room. And we know that there is still uh, someone looking for their for their husband close to Aldrun. So we could also do this. I wanted to check if can, I can actually ask where Training Maradon was. For the right price. I'm sorry, I'm walking back and forth all the time. Uh, no. So let us head out of Aldrun and check if we can find a signpost. Or we'll 
check if we can find a signpost. I mean, I know that there is one. Because on the main roads, there are always signposts. How else would people find their ways if there were no signposts? And there it says, Margan, that way, perfect. Just checking inside here. This is... This is the woman. I'm just checking if it really is her and now her husband. Because maybe we can do this quest on the way to Margan. Yeah, this was Falanu Indaran, who was praying that her husband is still alive. And she said that her husband was somewhere attacked by three Nyx hounds somewhere to the west, which is this direction that we are heading anyway. This is why I was thinking about doing this quest also now. But first I want to rest. So I just need to exit the cell of the city, which I just did. Which you, you can see the lower right corner showed Ashlands region, which means I have switched the cell and the new, this cell has a different name. Now I can rest until I'm healed, which means, well, my fatigue is the only thing that healed, but I'm still just checking. Nope, that's not where we, not where the husband is, or it doesn't look like it. Let's have more further to the west, towards Margan, where Hulin's hut is. And check out what happened there. Edwina sounded pretty um, not disturbed. What's the word? Um, convinced. That's when you're not a native speaker. Um, concerned. That's the word I was looking for. She sounded very concerned about her friend. And we don't want her to worry too much, right? So we are going to make sure that Helene is alright. Little forager here. I bet our spark makes quick work of him. He could actually also attack this cliff racer up there. So it said it did say it said Margan this direction. And let us see. So this is this general area is not called the Ashlands without a reason. It looks very, very like there's very little vegetation, the trees look all dead, and cliff racers are very annoying, and you know, all, all the bad things. Till healed. There we go. I know I'm going to need to battle this cliff racer, and I don't want to do so with empty... Uh, with, with less than full magicka. There we go. Until healed. Yes, it did work. I thought I would o shoot over him. Five feet is a lot of distance in this game. I mean, if I imagine a foot long sandwich at Subway, so we, we count in centimeters, so if I imagine a foot long sandwich in Subway and like five of them stacked together. 
That's not that much. I think I shoot very far away with this, so... One foot in this game must be very far away. Like... I don't know, it feels... I, I'm very bad at, at, at um, estimating distances. Or estimating distances with numbers, that is. Do you three think, will I be able to fight them? Let's, let's find out. I actually one hit them with the magic with the new spell. Neat. Diseased Alex. Of course, no clothes. No loot. There we go. Alatide. That was unintended, but luckily the spell is strong enough for them to not keep us in a paral paralysis loop, because their attack is rather fast, and they paralyze you, so you can't do anything, and usually while you're paralyzed, they paralyze you again. So basically you're just standing there and watching them paralyze you <laughs> all the time. There's someone... Let me quick save before it turns out that they're, they're going to attack us. Let's ask them about their day. Hello, ma'am. How's your day? I don't know you. What? I don't know you. What do you want? I just wanted to ask if you're okay. So if everything's okay, I'm going to be on my way. It looks like this this Margan place is quite a bit away from Aldrun. I hope this is worth the hassle. On the other hand, we have we got 400 sept septims from this non-paying customer. took away my finger from the mouse for a single second just to uh, scratch my nose and of course then my wrist got interrupted <laughs> okay let's head on so we are walking this road to Margan for so long now and I hope that we will finally arrive there's not a cliff racer but I bet if I do this I won't I will hit nice But of course the second one was too high because he immediately flew down. Thank you. Actually this is way easier to see for me because I'm not blinded all the time. There is someone standing there. Hello, who are you? Phonus Rethrion. Pardon me, can you help a poor pilgrim? Well, I'm always trying to help. I've been trying to get to a ruddy man, but I've lost my way. If you would be so kind to help, I can pay you 150 septims upon our arrival. I just need to get there rather quickly, though. I'm on a pilgrimage, and there are others I must meet there. I must be at ruddy man in Coal Cave within two days. Can you help? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that we will be able to help him in two days. So I'm sorry, I can't help you. Can I still... So let's let's load the quick save that we made. Because I don't know if we could accept the quest anyway again. Could be that he will just say, yeah, you weren't, you weren't wanting to take me there. Um... While entering my password on the other machine to take some notes, 
because it being a tablet, of course, it locked itself. Mm. I got attacked. There we go. So it is. Um, what was his name? Go ahead. Escort. Phonus Rathrion. To Cold Cave. I guess. I guess he will attack. We will be attacked there then. And they are. On the way from Aldrun to Marga. There we go. Let's rest again and head on. Let us see where Cold Cave yeah, is. So Cold Cave would be here. Take a little drink. By the way, I had I'm using a metal straw, oh. and I love these. You can just clean them out in the dishwasher, and if you had some, some sweet drink, you should also like there is this little pipe cleaner that comes with them that you can use to clean them up. So if you just use water, put them in the dishwasher, it'll be hot enough to kill all the germs. If not, just use regular soap water and a pipe cleaner and you're good to go. It's a little bit of work, of course, but yeah, it's pretty awesome because you can reuse them as often as you want. And I've got ones with like a rainbow gloss finish. Well, Margan also has Silstrider service. This is awesome, which means we can just go back and forth in the future. Again, with my rule being, I only fast travel to somewhere that I've been on foot. Just imagine I wouldn't have, I would just have fast traveled here. We would have never seen and actually never knew about this quest because I've always fast traveled in the past. Hello. This is someone who does not have anything to tell to us. Yeah, I'm looking for a specific place, but I guess you, yeah, you don't know about this hub that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to walk past here and then open the local map to see if this is where I need to be. Oh, man. oh too bad we don't get the the markers, so I actually need to check each of the huts. Each of the entrances myself. <clears throat> okay, this was the one we checked first, anyhow. This is the trade house. With these storms, it's rather hard to orient oneself. We haven't checked this one, it seems, because it doesn't show up. I think we need to just walk real close to the door for it to register. Like this. No, it's still not there. I don't know what the condition is for the game to uh, show the quick m the markers here. I guess this is not Yulin's hut either, but I want to see what this is. This is the shrine, and this is the guard tower. This guard tower here. I will listen, Outlander. Let me get back. Okay. Looks like there is something along here. Let's check the outside wall of the city. So this is the Silstrider service. And if we go around, 
This would be the perfect opportunity for a hidden door that goes downward or something. Let's get around the city to see to see the city boundaries. Oh, look at that. This must be it. It's a little outside the city. Could, of, of course, as well also just be some kind of um, grave. No, this is actually it. So, I would say in the next episode we check out what is actually in happening in Helene's hut. Why Edwina sell us, sell, send us there. And I'm going to bid you farewell for now. And as always, I will cut in the dice that I have pre-rolled. I'm always rolling like... 10 to 15 dice ahead and just using the next dice roll until I run out, then I'm rolling again. So, um, you will see the dice roll and then you will know when the next episode will come out. So for now, bye bye!